here because of the incident that y'all was involved in, the crime y'all committed on our brother over there on 131st Street and 8th Avenue. Our brother George was assaulted by one of y'all officers, especially the plain clothes one, so probably for the robbery squad officers or something that they have in this precinct. The 32nd precinct right now has 37 CCRB complaints. 18 of those CCRB complaints are of use of force. So we're talking about a precinct that is practice is to be very aggressive when they police our community. I think that they need to be reminded that their boss is not Bill Bryan, Commissioner Bill Bryan. Their boss is not de Blasio. Their boss is not Deputy, Deputy Inspector Michael Davidson. New Deputy Inspector here, uh, Michael Davidson. Their boss is the taxpayers and the people in the community that they come to serve. And they need to realize that. And as long as we in these communities, we want to make sure that we remind them. Right. What George did, he stepped up. We need to stop pumping out to these fucking cops. Because if it came down to one on one of us, they wouldn't have a fucking chance. That's why they get on that fucking walkie talkie and you got 10, 20 motherfuckers on one person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because they know. Bully! Right? That lets you know yeah. that they know that y'all ain't no motherfucking joke. That's Tell it! That's what it's telling. Us. Yeah. Right, and we need to look at that. Now, I just want to read a few things dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Dealing with our, our law for arrest. And these are laws. These are laws. They can look it up their own goddamn self. An illegal arrest is an assault and battery. Police need to put their cameras away. Put your camera 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 away. Listen, we caught them with the camera because that's a violation of their control guy anyway. Listen, we have to keep showing Hello. how arrogant they are because the more we show how arrogant they are, the more people start opening the windows and doors of their mind to see what they're really going to say. And when they come into the community, away. Right, that, that is an illegal act. Put your them. camera away. Record that them. Is Make sure you record act. them. Put your this is the arrogance away. of the police department. This is where $25 million went, right here, to make them dumber than what they already was. Look at them. So that's what $25 million did, made them dumber. $170 million? Yeah, yeah now $170 million for 1,300 more dumbass cops. All right? I love, I love the Constitution. Didn't y'all take a while to what? To protect the Constitution of the United States? And the Constitution of the state of New York, that we got to say whatever the fuck I want, and all y'all gotta do is look at me and smile. So that's what gives me the power, the Constitution. And that's the whole that's what to protect it. So let yeah, just let them record everybody, make sure y'all record them. Alright, let me read. An illegal arrest is an assault battery. The person so attempt to be restrained on his liberty has the same right to use force in defending himself as he would in repelling any other assault and battery. That's the state version Robinson. Y'all can look it up. Each person has the right to resist an unlawful arrest. In such case, the person attempting to arrest stands in the position of wrongdoer and may be resisted by the use of force as in self-defense, the state version Moore. Another being unlawfully arrested, just as he may, where one is being assaulted, molested, raped, or kidnapped. Thus, it is not an offense to liberate one from the unlawful custody of an officer, even though he may have submitted to such custody without resisting Adam versus State. I mean. 
These principles apply as well to an officer attempting to make an arrest who abuses authority and transcends the bounds thereof by the use of unnecessary force and violence as they do to a private individual who unlawfully uses such force and violence. John versus the state, Beaver versus the state, Skidmore versus the state, and on and on. No two. Uh, police officers can only ask for your identification when an investigation is underway and you are part of it. Therefore, when they hinder you, they are saying that you are under investigation. Their court rights and sirens are to only go on if there is an investigation. Therefore, when they hinder you, they are saying that you are under investigation. Therefore, they must identify themselves to you and also identify what is the investigation about and what made you part of that investigation. So as we see, these officers fail to follow proper procedures and protocol when they stop. Just so cool, when they stop them, they fail to follow proper procedures and protocol. And that's what led to the end of what took place. But let me tell you something, all right? Y'all already know and y'all already see it that the tables are turning on y'all motherfuckers, right. right? Because right now, motherfuckers ain't afraid. They are ready to fight back with y'all motherfuckers. They are ready to gun it with y'all motherfuckers. Okay. And they ready to start protecting their community from the wars that are coming there and terrorizing us. That's right, terrorizing us. I'm sorry y'all not doing whatever in your psychotic and hallucinatory mind that y'all think y'all doing. Y'all not protecting our community. And y'all know that y'all only go when y'all come into our community is to come and give us tickets, all right? Lock us up and have something to be able to justify why, all right? Why community needs police or more police. All right, 800 graduates just graduated from the police academy. That doesn't even include the 1,300. That 800 has nothing to do with the 1,300. So you talk about close to 2,000 officers gonna be coming to the street. So you know what we gotta do? The brothers and sisters that's here, we gotta go into our community. We gotta make sure that we document these fucking pigs when they come into our community and stop a civilian, let's document them. Let's keep using social media to show what kind of animals they are because the more we do that, the more hated they become to a point when they ain't gonna be able to come in our community no more, all right? There's places in Puerto Rico that police officers wouldn't dare go in that community. Why? Because they will get their ass lit up. Right? So la we have to make sure la, la, la. that we bring our community that when they come to our community, just like this fool, they look at me all tough. When they come in our community, we let them know we ain't scared of your ass. We ain't worried about you, and we ready to do whatever needs to be done by any means necessary to protect right. myself and right. my community. So whenever you're ready to bring it, don't forget my name is Jose Sal. Google my name, and I'm easy to find. Bring it. Okay. Okay.